my thoughts on the Roxanne Shantae movie on Netflix. First off, let me start off by saying, great movie. I like the fact that they didn't focus so much on her rap career, that they actually focused on her life. The reason being is because I think Roxanne Shantae went through a lot of trials and tribulations, plus I think she got jerked out of a lot of money and residuals and royalties and all of that kind of stuff in hip hop, so really her story wasn't really about rap as it was about her life, it just so happened that rap happened to be entwined in it. Um, That being said, um, Nia Long did a fantastic job playing her mother. Um, She conveyed the feelings and being a hard ass you know, being Roxanne Shantae's mother, because you have to think about it. She is a single woman, single woman, raising four girls in Queens, Queensbridge housing projects. One of the biggest project complexes in the country. Um, Mahershala Ali um, did his thing also. I can only imagine how hard it was for him to do that in the movie because he played a grimy, grimy dude. Um, And he also played her love interest slash her baby father. Plus the fact he was a lot older than her, you know, can't be overlooked because, you know, basically your baby father was a was a child molester. That being said, let's get into the movie. Um, the rap scenes were really good. It really showed how Roxanne Shante was a battle rapper and how she had bars and how she used to spit and how she just used to battle everybody and cook them. Um, that's basically how she made her money um it was just a hustle for her and she used to boost for those who don't know boost means to steal a shoplift and go back and sell stuff that you boost a shoplift so um you know they went on and talked about how she made her response record to utfo and it basically blew up overnight and she became a superstar in a matter of days. They touched on it briefly, but they didn't really talk about how when she went on the road doing the whole Roxanne Shantae and beefing with other women, how she only used to get paid $100 for a show. And she was a headliner. So she got jerked on that front too, besides the royalties from the record, not getting any royalties from the record. So basically all around she was taking L's. She was getting hit on by um, grown men and dudes basically wanting to sleep with her because she was a cute girl. I mean, I had a crush on Roxanne Shantae, I can't even front. But me and Roxanne Shantae the same age. She was getting hit on when she was 14 by grown ass men. Um, that was also part of the story. Um, so Mahershala Ali's character basically played a hustler in her neighborhood and he always had his eye on her. You know the type of dude I'm talking about, one of them dudes that, you know, like young girls. So he just kept trying to get at her and get at her until he broke them walls down. Once he broke them walls down, it was a wrap. Of course, you know what happens next. She moves out. 
of our house a second time. I'll get back into the first time she moved out. She moved out of the house a second time. Moved in with him. They living together. What you think was going to happen? You got, you got living, you know, sex. You know, he a grimy dude. Plus, I know you wanted to keep her, so of course he's going to put a baby up in her. That's exactly what he did. He got her pregnant. Then he started to beat on her. Beat on her so bad, um, she eventually had to go to the hospital because he broke a couple ribs. And did he break her jaw? I'm not sure, but I think he may have broken her jaw too. She may have had to have her jaw wired shut. Don't really remember. I saw a movie about a week ago, a week, a week and a half ago. So, um, it was hard to view some at some points. Uh, it also just showed you how vulnerable you can be when you're young and you decide you've grown and you can do it because getting back to not being her first time moving out, she moved out once before when she was 14, started hustling, or lived with a hustler, but you know, you know, you got this fine little young thing running around the house you may be grown but you know you trying to get it popping I don't think the dude was that much older than her but you know can't have no cute female living with you walking around in booty shorts and you not wanting to do something just because everybody don't got the emotional or you know mental maturity to just be roommates and chill with somebody without trying to, you know, screw, for lack of a better word. So getting back to the main point of the story, um, she eventually realized that she had to leave her baby father because he was going to wind up killing her. Of course, he coked out. Um, he's still hustling. So at this point he capable of anything um, she she hated the business of rap so much and getting jerked on getting paid she eventually quit the game altogether but she had to come back because that was the only way she could get money uh, So she was making money, but her albums really didn't do that well just because she was a battle rapper. And for those who don't know, sometimes it's hard for battle rappers to make albums or songs because it's almost it's two different mediums. See, a battle rapper is just used to spitting and coming up with witty punchlines, but when you make songs, you gotta have hooks, you gotta have cadence, you gotta be able, you gotta have the right beats. You know, just cause somebody, somebody can be a better song maker than a battle rapper and they can go further than a battle rapper just because. There's been a few exceptions to the rules, you know, DMX, Jay-Z, Eminem, so on and so forth. So getting back to the review. Um, I thought they did a very good job explaining why she had to quit music and why she had to go through such extremes to get her son back from his father because at one point in the movie she had to give her baby father $10,000 in order for him to not only give her back her son but sign the rights over to him. So dude eventually did that. She got her son. And that was the movie in a nutshell. Very good movie. It was very hard to watch sometimes. But it was good also because it shows the consequences of making rash decisions at a young age and it showed the consequences of those rash decisions also. Um, 
I've seen Roxanne Shante do a few interviews and she said that she's not bitter and the reason why she's not bitter she said is because she was here for a purpose and she did her purpose it's for somebody else to take it further than her so I know she still does shows she still gets money and she doesn't have any animosity like she just gives off a vibe like a very very cool vibe somebody you could be friends with hang out with and you know she always going to keep it a hundred with you um yeah she's just very positive person she's grounded you can tell sometimes you know when people have been through a lot and they've seen a lot at a young age it makes you wise but beyond your years so I think her story wasn't so much about the rap but it was about growing up fast making rash decisions on top of having a gift because don't get it twisted Roxanne used to be out here washing dudes you know anybody she battled she would get them and I think that's why she had a whole time you know such a hard time excuse me going on the road doing shows because it's like yo you only gonna give me a hundred dollars I was getting 250 a battle are you only gonna give me a hundred dollars for a show so she probably looking at these dudes like yo that's some that's some bullshit and not having her paperwork right not having an attorney all of these things probably just eventually just made her fed up with the whole business which I can completely understand however great movie um, baby girl who played Roxanne did her thing Roxanne not Roxanne but uh, Nia Long did her thing Herschel I Lee did his thing I think those were really the only famous people or like well-known actors in the movie to my knowledge um, I didn't see people that I really recognize other than them. So with that being said, great movie. Um, and a different kind of hip-hop movie. But still was a great movie all together. Check it out. You know, as always, comments, criticisms are welcomed. Disagreements are welcomed. Um... Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.